Hello, everybody. Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play, and we are back with Baird Beam. And today we're gonna continue on the main story, Book Eight, Chapter One: War Steep. Let's go down here and find Nona, Horn, and Corridon. What was that guy? Why oh, he's got fire above him? Harwick Guard. Harwick Patrol. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I think they are in here, it looks like. Ah, hello. Nona? My people do not often fight from horseback. Well, this has not been an easy adjustment for me. Still, would I rather fight on foot and let my enemies charge toward me at their peril? But I understand we have a need for the speed of hooves if we are to find your friends. For that, I will put up with it. I hope I do not shame myself in front of our companions with my poor riding. Horn rides as if we were born on a saddle, and Corridon has the natural grace of his people. I feel like an aurochs up here. <laughs> the horses of Rohan are renowned for their loyalty, strength, and speed. And it seems to my eye that the steeds they have given us are no exception. The steeds of the others are satisfactory as well. One of the men here requested our aid. Speak to Enston southeast of here by the exit of Harwick. These steeds are of good breeding and should serve us well. It is good of Elder Harding to provide these war steeds to us. When I was last in these lands, he was a man of short temper and did not believe the king was strong enough to protect Rohan from what threatened her. I cannot imagine he has changed, but it is good to see he is making Harwick ready for whatever may come. These steeds are of good breeding and should serve us well. Nona has not lived her life among horses, but still she has done very well to pick up in the short order. War steeds are different from the horses she may have had occasion to ride in the past, and she has adjusted well. Cordon, too, is already at home on the back of his steed. We will make good time over the plains. Talk to Enston. Enston. All the way down there, and then we've got the bingo quest as well. Might go talk to bingo. While we're up here. Where is he? Is that him? Bingo. Ha! Ah. Hey, Bingo. These creatures look quite ferocious. Oh my, I hope these creatures do not come any closer. They look quite ferocious and could take a bite out of this poor hobbit without even a second thought. I would be little more than a morsel to them, but this morsel would just as soon not be lunch, if you please. Are you quite certain I need to have a horse for this adventure? Talk to Cuthbald. Ah, you are here to purchase a fine horse for this fellow? I have several that might serve your needs. Each one is fiery of temper and will gladly gallop about the fields with speed you have never seen. Watch your hands around them. They might take a nip at you if you are not careful. They are princes, after all, not to be... The, not of the Maris, of course, but surely very near to that finest of breeds. Feel free to may examine these noble steeds and let me know which one of them suits your fancy. Assessing the horse. Horse is calm for its groomer, but Bingo looks nervous. Horse is quite beautiful, but Bingo stares at it distrustfully. Bingo looks nervously at this horse's high shoulders and shakes his head. I will not ride any of these horses. I am sorry, and good day to you. I can't do it, Baird Beam. I'm sorry. These great beasts are simply too scary for me to even think of riding. And if I did, how long before I fell from the saddle? What a distance that would be. Too far for this hobbit, I tell you truly. I will not ride any of these horses. Tell Cuthbald good day and give him my apologies, but there will simply be no sale today, and indeed any day. Not to this hobbit, at least. 
He's ah, laughing. That will not do. No, 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 that will not do at all. If this fellow expects to travel throughout the kingdom, he will need a horse. I cannot allow the two of you to leave Harwick without a sufficient steed for bingo. If I let you go unprepared, it would do such damage to my reputation as the finest horse trader in this part of the world, meaning this area near Harwick, but not as far north as Langhold, or south to Arrow's Hollow. Within those, those bounds, I am the very best, and I will remain so. You know something? I believe I may have one last chance to provide what your friend needs. Meet me on the west side of Harwick, near the crafting hall, and I will see what I can do. Okay. Near the crafting hall? All the way over there. Alright, let's go do this bingo quest before we carry on. I want to go up. My dogs are fighting behind me. <laughs> You're the crafting. Oh, it's like a little one, a little stubby. What do you think? His <laughs> name is Tanglemane. I don't usually keep ponies, but this fellow came into my possession after a raid by the orcs, and I have yet to find an owner for him. What do you think of him? His name is Tanglemane, but you could call him anything. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with him. Damn in the pony. Bingo wears a huge smile. He does not seem to be frightened of this one. His name is Tanglemane. <laughs> it suits him quite well. This pony is not scary at all. He seems very well-tempered, and I dare say I could walk up to him without fearing that he might bite me. He is rather hobbit-sized, if you ask me, and I think that is just the right size. His name is Tanglemane. It suits him well. I wonder how many coins Cuthbald will ask in order to part with him. Tanglemane is an incredibly picky eater. If you can feed him, you can have him. I'm glad that Bingo likes him, to be honest. I have not had much success finding an owner for Tanglemane, so I will be pleased to let Bingo have him for free. I have one condition, however. Tanglemane is an incredibly picky eater, and he will turn up his nose at almost anything. If you can find some food around Harwick that he will eat, I will let you have him for free. Otherwise, I will have to refuse. You understand, I'm sure. Find some food around Harwick that he will eat, and he will be all yours. Find some food. Oh, and there's nothing really here, huh? Nothing on the map. Will we eat some eggs? Well, how the heck am I supposed to know? some food around Harwick. Is it like sitting out or is it in a store or something? Oh, here. Basket of mushrooms. Basket of bacon. Cabbage, maybe? Carrying some cabbage. I should have tried the mushrooms, probably. Because hobbits like mushrooms. Let's see if he likes this cabbage. Engelman refuses to eat the cabbage. Certainly he can't like the bacon. But I'm gonna go with the mushrooms next.
That's all three of them, right? Cabbage, bacon, mushrooms. Try these mushrooms. I should have gone with my instinct because if it's the mushrooms, I'm hoping it is, because that would make sense, because then Bingo will be like, oh, mushrooms, yes, hobbits love mushrooms, sort of thing. If it's bacon, I don't feel like that's good for horses. <laughs> I don't know if that's okay for horses. Refuses to eat the mushrooms. I feel like it should have been the mushrooms, man. Is this a bacon liking horse? Is that good for ponies? <laughs> to eat bacon? I'm gonna have some cholesterol. Aren't they herbivores? Aren't horses herbivores? Or are they omnivores? They were herbivores because they just have flat teeth. Do they eat bugs? I swear they're just herbivores. <laughs> this is blowing my mind. I guess if it's cooked bacon, processed meat and stuff. He refuses to eat the bacon. Well, what the heck, man? There's nothing else down there, is there? Nothing else there. Do you have anything that horses will like to eat? Anybody have some meals or whatnot? Any sort of feed around here? No, but what do you have? I have collected many fine items during my travels. A cow pen. Beehives. Home of the Red Eagle. Cow pen would be nice for your house. Um... I feel like they would make it obvious. Let me go up here. We don't find it in the next... In the next, um... Few minutes here, we'll... We'll come back to this later. Oh, okay. Here's some stuff. Cheese. That's it? Just cheese? You could like cheese, I suppose.
He refuses to eat the cheese. <laughs> oh god. Anything else at this tent? No. Okay, what about down over here? Anything around here? Okay, lots of stuff here. Tomato. Apples. He's gotta like apples. This has gotta be it. That's good for ponies. I've f fed a horse an apple before. I used to love horses. I I always told my dad, because uh, my dad almost got transferred to Texas once, um, and he said if he ever got transferred to Texas, he would buy me a horse. What the heck was that? <laughs> am I am I having a fever dream? What in the world was that? Um, but anyway, whenever. My dad um, said he would buy me a horse whenever he got transferred to Texas, but he never did. Ah, you found his favorite food, apples. Looks like you found his favorite food. I've never seen this pony devour anything as quickly as he ate that apple, friend. Looks like you found his favorite food, and it also looks as if Bingo has found himself a noble steed to carry him through Rohan. It's been a pleasure doing business with you two, and if you happen to put in a good word for me with anyone looking for horses, I'd appreciate it. I am delighted to have met Tanglemane. He must truly be the bingo boffin of the pony persuasion, Baird Beam. Small, friendly, and a picky eater. He likes apples, which is perfect because I can't stand the things, as I believe I have told you before. He can have every apple in Middle Earth as far as I am concerned. We will make a great team, I can already tell. He, we won't covet each other's dinners. <laughs> He's on his pony! I will do my best to stay a saddle while we go to our next destination. Okay. This is quest level 82, so we won't do this right away. Did not take long, but I have already become quite fond of Tanglemane. He is a gentle fellow and very friendly. The ground does not seem to be very far down from here, and while I do not wish to take a tumble, if it did happen to bounce from sa the saddle, I believe I would be quite alright. He seems to have no interest in nipping at my hat or my person, which I very much appreciate. What a good boy you are, Tanglemane. Cuthbald shared something of the geography of Rohan with me, and I think our next destination should be the town of Cliving, in the Norcrofts, to the southwest. I will concentrate on staying a saddle if you can fight any foes that cross our path, Baird Beam. Let us defeat enemies in the Wold and in the Norcrofts as we journey, and in that way our presence will be a boon for the good folk of Rohan. Okay. So now we can go talk to Enston. All right. Bloodwind has sent urgent messages calling for our aid. All of us must band together if we are to survive the encroaching dangers, but there are so few of us fighting men available. And for now, f er, and now, Floodwind has sent urgent messages calling for our aid. Mansig and most of his men are still away, investigating the East Wall. If he were here, I know he would ride at once in defense of Floodwind, but he is not. Can you ride those new war steeds of yours with any skill? If Bloodwind falls, Harwick could be next. The road leaves Harwick and runs southeast until it reaches Floodwind. 
The land becomes rockier the further south you go, and your steeds will need to be sure of foot to make it there safely. Stick to the road if you can. I do not know what threat has so worried the Raven Master at Floodwind, but it was grave enough for him to send three birds with the plea for help. He may have sent more. I do not know him personally. He could be excitable by nature, or the keep of Floodwind could be in worse peril than ever before. Go with haste to help. We have no men to spare, and if Floodwind falls, Harwick could be next. Okay. Aren't we meant to be, like, chasing the hobbits, though, right now? Chasing after the orcs who have our hobbit friends? Bum, 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 bum. Like, do we have time to do all this stuff? Yeah, I love horses. I wish I I were um in a place or in a I guess place in life <laughs> where I could spend some more time with horses. I suppose I could. I suppose I could find a place to ride or something. Twickenburg. This must be Floodwind down here. have been testing the great river seeking places to ford you've come from harwick the thane was hoping for more men but i suppose you will have to do the easterlings have been testing the great river trying to find safe places at which to ford in between the two on deeps they have a large camp to the northeast but our people have kept an eye on them and they seek another way to strike at us perhaps they thought just below the rapids would be safe or perhaps they fear their commanders more than rushing waters a great many pairs trying to cross just below Sarn Geber. Not all, however, and not all by half. Many of the Easterlings survived the crossing and have been marshalling their forces for an attack on Floodwind. Many of their belongings are scattered and damaged by the waters, but still they seek to recover enough to arm themselves to attack the city. We need you to strike them along the banks of the Anduin, just to the east, below the cliffs. You should also steal from them what belongings survived the crossing. Okay. down here. How do I get out of here? Okay. This is a cool little place. I think I would like this because there's a lot of nice like beautiful trees in the area and a nice river. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, are you something I need to kill for bingo? You are, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Get Fauna out.
Oh, and what and what we need to kill for um our quest too. Is there an easy way down there? I don't think this is the way down, but it's going to be my way down. <laughs> We're going to just break an ankle. Oh, okay, right here. I was going to go a little further, but ouch. Oh, I did. I was trying to remember. I thought we got some boots, but I already put them on. Trying to sneak past that guy. <laughs> but my sneaking didn't work. We'll get one more guy down. Alright, let's get out of here. What was the proper way to come down here? Ah, just over up here. How do you get How do you get back now? Oh, look at that beautiful horse. That one's really pretty. Let me just keep going here. Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. I had to pause for a second. Um, the hot water heater went out. <laughs> and you know, my mom didn't know how to how to fix it, so I had to go. Go turn the hot water back on. So nice to have a penny around the house. Ba -bum, ba -bum. <laughs> we used to sing that all the time, but it, my dad used to sing it. So nice to have a man around the house. I don't know if that's an actually, like, an actual song or not. I don't know. I should look that up. I bet it is. I mean, sounds like a tune. A bop that you could play, I suppose. North Tour. Now, we had to go way out of the way. Our hot water heater, whenever it gets windy outside, it goes out, which sucks. Then you, and we don't really use, we don't really realize it until you go to take a shower. <laughs> You're like, okay, shower's not getting hot. Then you have to redress and go into the scary basement <laughs> and redo the hot water heater. Oh, warband. 
I don't really want to do the war band. Okay. Um up here. Right? While you were gone, a raiding party of orcs passed near to Floodwind. Between your skill in combat and the harsh waters of the Great River, perhaps the Easterlings will decide attacking Floodwind is too much trouble. What times we live in. Even if that were so, we would still have to worry about attacks by raiding orcs. Will Floodwind ever see peace again? While you were gone, a raiding party of orcs passed near to Floodwind. Allwold and his men rode out to fight them and had success. All the orcs were defeated. The orcs must have recently fought with some elves, for one of Aldwold's men claimed quite a trophy from the body of the one of the, one of the orcs. A bow of quality elf make. With the fine- Oh, detailing! It's Gordon's bow. He has been showing off since they returned. His name is Elf Sig, and he'll likely challenge your elf to an archery contest before too long. Poor foolish fellow. Talk to Corridan. That is almost certainly the bow I left to Fiendloth. The orc that claimed it carried it into the wold, and now this man Elf Sig has taken it. This will not take long. Let us have some words with this man, Elfsig. He is sure to return my bow when he understands the situation. Yeah, right. I bet this is going to be a thing. Where is he? Here? Grab this real quick. Greetings, friend of the Rohirrim. I am not unreasonable. What if I gave your friend a chance to win it back? I'm sorry that your friend lost his bow, but it seems to me that anything taken from an orc belongs to the one strong enough to take it. If your friend wanted it back, why did he not reclaim it from the orcs when he had the opportunity? I am not unreasonable. What if I gave your friend the opportunity to win it back in a contest of some sort? Alwood has given me a message to deliver to Ethengels in the Norcrofts. How about this? Test of your mounted skill. Whichever us first reaches Ethengels gets to keep the bow. If I arrive there first, your friend gives up all claim to it. Does he agree to this proposal? If he does, let us speak with my commander, Alwold, outside Floodwind. We will start the race. Oh boy. If these are the laws of men, I am grateful to be one of the Galadhrim. <laughs> this is a ridiculous requirement. Why should I have to engage in a competition to determine my right to possess property that is rightfully mine? These are the laws of men. I am grateful to be one of the Galadrim. But I am not worried, Beardbeam. We will best this arrogant sapling that thinks it is a weathered oak, and my favorite bow will once again be in my possession. Let us speak with this Alwold outside w Floodwind. The sooner this unnecessary race is begun, the sooner we will win it. <sighs> you got a race? After, it's like an actual... <coughs> Excuse me. It's like an actual race? Doo -doo. I thought it was right here. Ah, right there. Okay. If you go back on your word, you will have me to deal with. Dang. You explain the terms of Elsig's wager and Elwood chuckles. I am not surprised. Times have been tough in the world of late, with orcs and easterlings and worse prowling around the borders. When my men are not fighting for their lives, they're engaging in fruitless wagers. I cannot stop them. As long as they and you abide by the agreed upon terms, I have no complaint. They do not want any bloodshed. If you go back on your ward, word, you'll have me to deal with. It will not take Elsiga long to reach Elfeng. It will not take Elfsig long to reach the Ethengels. You had better ride with great haste if you are to get there first and win your wager. Ride southwest to reach Ethengels. Southwest? We need Saga. Southwest. Southwest.
I mean, should we do this, though? Alright, accept. I feel like it might have been a mistake to do this one. The war steed. Are we going faster than what we would normally do? I mean, we have a Thane's horse here, so I feel like it would make sense story-wise. If we won. We've arrived before Ethengel's Elfsig. Did something happen to Elfsiga? You ask the guard if Elf Sig has arrived yet, and he shakes his head in confusion. No, but this horse arrived shortly before you did, and without him. Something must have happened to him. You have to retrace your steps and look for him. He must be somewhere between Elthingels and Floodwind. Look among the trees to the south of the road, between here and Floodwind. You could have passed him without seeing him. Alright. So his horse arrived before him. So we technically lost, but... Door warriors, huh? You okay, Elsie? Thank you for coming back to find me. I was trying to take a shortcut to the Elfengels when Hero Manu was surprised by a patrol of orcs. He reared and I fell. Did he make it to Elfengels? I can, can probably walk now. I could not put weight on it, but now it is feeling better. I will meet you ahead in Elfengels and we can discuss the wager. I'll be there soon. Thank you for coming back to find me. No problemo. Ooh, I like this music. I have already given your elf his bow, and I have renounced all claim to it. I'm sorry if I came across as a bit of a fool, Beardbeam. I did not think you would be of much of a rider, but not only are you a skilled rider, you are a good person as well. I thank you for coming to find me. I have already given your elf his bow, and I renounce any claim to it I may have had. It is done. Now that I am here, I need to accomplish my duty. Now that I'm here, I need to accomplish my duty. I was given a message to deliver to Thane Mildreth of Ethengels, asking for her to send some of her warriors uh, to Floodwind. 
uh, to help defend against against the increased number of Easterlings crossing the river. Her husband was slain by orcs some time ago, and her son died under unpleasant circumstances. More recently, I do not think she will respond favorably to this message, but still, I must deliver it. Thank you once again. Ooh. Fire pit. Interesting. Okay. The Uruks that fled the East Wall may have passed near to Elfingles. We should learn if any of the townspeople know anything of their passage. Here, Bairdbeam, take these coins of the mark and use them to buy a round of drinks at the tavern for the patrons there. It could be one of them saw something of the Uruks. Okay. All right, we are going to do that, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up here. And when we come back, we'll continue our questing uh, of the main storyline. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.